Consider the following function. f of x equals 8x to the fourth minus 6x cubed minus 165x squared minus 37x plus 60. And the given factors are x plus 4 and x minus 5. A. Verify the factors given. To verify those two factors, we're going to use synthetic division. So our two factors, let's start with x plus 4 x plus 4 set that equal to 0, subtract 4 on both sides, you get x equals negative 4. So we're going to divide that whole thing by negative 4. We have an 8, a negative 6, negative 165, negative 37, and then a positive 60. Put a positive sign, I don't need a positive sign. Okay, so bring the first one down, we have an 8. 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. Negative 32 minus 6 is negative 38. Multiply negative 38 times negative 4, you get 152. Subtract those two, and you should get negative 13. Negative 13 times negative 4 gives you 52. 52 minus 37 is 15. 15 times negative 4 is negative 60. Negative 60 plus 60 is 0. So you get a remainder of 0. When your remainder is 0, you have confirmed it is a factor. So the next thing you would do is take the x minus 5, and you could use the original uh, function, but I've already simplified the function down to this. This is your constant, this is your x term, this is your x squared term, and this is your x cubed term. So I can just take that and divide using synthetic division to confirm it as well. So x minus 5 equals 0 plus 5 on both sides, x equals 5. So we're going to divide by x sort of 4. We're going to divide by positive 5, so we had an 8, a negative 38, a negative 13, and a positive 15. First one drops down, 8. 8 times 5. Make sure I'm right, 40. 40 minus 38 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Negative 13 plus 10 is negative 3. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. Remainder again is 0. You've confirmed that that negative 5 is also a factor of the function. So here is your new constant. Here is your x term and here is your x squared term. The second part of the question says to find the remaining factors of f. Now if you started from up here again with the original function, you would need to divide it by the what would be negative 4, take what you got there, and then divide it further by the 5 to get to x squared, 8x squared plus 2x minus 3, because that is factorable. This is not factorable. So, but I've already done that step. So we're down to 8x squared. Let me write this again 8x squared plus 2x minus 3. So at this point, after our synthetic division, we can just simply factor as normal. So 8x squared plus 2x minus 3. This is a simple one. This isn't as simple as some of them factor. I use the AC over B method, which is A times C over B. So we take our A term, which is 8, and multiply it by our C terms. 8 times 3. It's going to be negative 24x squared, because the x squared. Then we leave our b term just like it is, it's over 2x. So we have to think of two numbers that multiply to negative 24x squared, but add up to 2x. And those would be 6 and 4x squared, or x, sorry. But this is negative, so this is positive, so 6 times negative 4x.
we'll give you that. So we're splitting apart this middle term and replacing it with these two terms. So 8x squared minus, I choose the negative first, makes your life easier, the negative 4x plus the 6x we found, and then subtract the 3, the last thing. Now you have a four-term polynomial that you can factor by grouping. So put these in brackets. Thing that they have in common, they both have a 4 and an x in common. 8 divided by 4x would just be 2x, and then minus 1, because 4x divided by 4x is 1. So here they have, in our second binomial, we have a common factor of 3. You take a 3 out, and you have 6 divided by 3 equals 2x. 3 divided by 3 equals 1, negative 1. Take the common factor, 2x plus 1, and then the 4, the remaining 4x plus 3. Those are your remaining factors of f. So altogether, the ones you were given, x plus 4 and x minus 5, and then the two you just got, which are 2x plus 1, and then 4x plus 3. Those together are the remaining, well, those are all the factors here, remaining and the ones given, those are the factors of the original fact function that you started out with. You can multiply them back out, like using FOIL or whatever, and you will get the same thing. You can also divide it by, use synthetic division, whatever, or long division, whatever you want, and you'll see that you get a remainder zero for each of them. Hope that was helpful.